Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. You guys are in separation right now. There's no communication for sure. Okay. No one's talking. That could be a third party situation between you guys. And uh, whatever this third party is, something's not growing right now because there's a lack of clarity here. Like I said, no communication, no clarity. That's just what the basic is otherwise also. I feel one of you is losing hope that things will ever work out between you guys, okay? Because someone out here seems like they're focusing more on the negative aspect of the relationship and not being able to uh, take things a little more uh, positively, okay? Like say probably something is a blessing in disguise or this just had to happen. You know, more like making yourself understand that it's okay, you know? Someone out here looks very, very depressed to me. There could be some communication also, all right? that could have come between some communication that happened here okay something was said uh, or um, where the other person was cut out but there's definitely this energy of where you guys are just not together right now okay and i think kids could be an issue okay kids could be involved not an issue but kids could be um, involved here someone's lacking a lot of hope Someone's having a hard time uh, feeling um, optimistic about this, okay? There's a lot of pessimism around this situation here. You have to keep it lighthearted, okay? Right now, whoever this is, right? Someone's just lacking hope and not being able to see things in a positive light. Of course, a breakup is not supposed to be seen in a positive light. But yes, you can at least see it in a way where something was meant to happen and it was good, right? Probably this was just going to be a blessing in disguise, you know? But definitely a lot of things are hidden and there's a lack of illumination here everything's in the dark here you're having a hard time figuring out what's really going on with, in this connection what's adding on is that there's no communication and you guys are in separation right now so that's what's adding on to this all right how do you see yourself in this connection cancer if you're on this side how do you see yourself in this connection how do you see yourself in this connection cancer Cancer, this doesn't look like your side. This looks like the person you're dealing with. Okay, anyways, I'm going to read it. You can take it out, doesn't it? The person on this side out here, right? Now, this person out here is going through a lot of um, anxiety right now. This person wants to make you an offer, okay? But they feel very rejected and abandoned by you. This is someone here, yeah, you're dealing with a narcissistic person, okay? They want to come back. They want to come back and they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. After this breakup. I feel this person also has a lot of fear of rejection. You put up with their shit for a very long time. Okay? And this person was probably not being able to make a decision. They kept you at a crossroads. They kept you waiting on a decision. You could be at a long distance from this person here. But this person had their own ways. Okay? They always gave themselves all the importance. They were all about themselves. Okay? Like a typical narcissistic energy out here. Okay? But they want to come back right now. But they just don't know how to. Because they feel everything's lost. It's over and done with. This person could be someone here who has a lot of fear of rejection okay or uh, i feel after now things have gone over have been over between you guys now this person's like you know what i should have done that i should have taken up i should have taken up that offer or i should have given that offer to you okay but they want to come back they're just waiting for you i think they're waiting for you to contact them or they're waiting for the right time to reach out to you but they're watching you from a distance they're definitely watching you they want to work with you money career or other people's opinions could be a big issue between you guys, okay? There could be a third person involved here. doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but more like, um, yeah. All right. So now, um, sorry, guys. Okay. So let's see. Um, I think you're the one on this side. So let's see. How does this person see themselves in this connection? How does this person see themselves in this connection? I think this side is going to be you, Cancer. Let's see. How does this person see themselves in this connection? Yeah, see, 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 see. That's what I said. <laughs> you made up your mind. You're ending things with this person. Okay? You've released yourself. You you probably are still stuck on them. Okay? Emotionally, I feel you're trying to walk away from this person. Okay? You're trying to detach yourself completely. 
I feel you could have been juggling this decision for a very long time, okay, trying to weigh out the pros and cons. Should I, should I not, should I, do you want to stay, do you want to leave, whatever that is, right? And uh, I feel the only thing that is keeping you within this connection here, keeping you stuck and tied, is because you, it's, it's your own mental energy here. It's your own, um, it's that feeling, how do I say this? It's that feeling where you feel you can't get out of this person or can't move on from this person or can't get yourself detached from this person or this situation. You can. See, if they, emotionally, I see you walking away. If you haven't, there are chances you want to, okay? Emotionally, you're walking away. But the problem here is that mentally you're still stuck on them, okay? So you're detaching yourself emotionally. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but you're at a crossroads here, okay? It's like you still, they still keep, you still keep overthinking, overanalyzing the situation here. It's still in your head. You're still in, they're still in your head, okay? They still occupy that place in your head. If you don't get rid of the situation, you're very soon going to reach a situation where you're going to be very overwhelmed. You're going to have sleepless nights. I don't feel you are still reached that situation, but you will, okay? But I think you want to get, you, you definitely want to move on, okay? But you're stuck. Should I, should I not? Although, although you're trying to find that, uh, you know, I feel you, you, you're stuck, you know, you have ended things with them, okay, you've ended the connection here, because nothing was changing out here, but you're trying to find that emotional stability, okay, within yourself, you feel you ended the situation with them, you said, you know what, bye, goodbye, I'm done with this, you feel that's how you move on, that's not how you move on, moving on is going to take a lot more longer than you think it was, okay, and now you're stuck in your head, like, yeah, you know what, I ended things with this person, now what? I thought the moment I say it's over, I thought it was over, but um, like they say, right, plowing the field is much more harder than it is only in your head, okay, so there's a lot more work to do if you literally want to get away, if you literally want to get over this person, I don't think you have get, gotten over this person, you've just put an end to this, that's all, um, to this connection by your words, by talking, by communication, that's all you did, you haven't literally moved on from this person, whilst this person out here, you got them full. They literally know. They, they feel you, you, you've definitely, you're definitely gone for good. Okay. Now they're sitting there watching you and thinking about they should have offered you much more and they should have had much more, given you the love and attention that you deserve when you were with them in this life. All right. How do they view you right now? How do they view you right now? How does this person view cancer right now? Nice. Um, this person definitely has a lot of love for you. All right. Now, this person has a lot of love for you. This person could see you as someone who is loving themselves first. Okay. But I feel that uh, this person also sees you as someone who is uh, operating more from their ego and not from their intuition. They have a high priestess here. This is you. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. Okay, but I think they see you as someone who's not being able to differentiate between your ego and your, um, your say probably your emotions and your ego is what I'd say. Okay, you're not being able to trust your intuition. They know that there is something that has been revealed. Okay, you've definitely said something to them. Okay, and walked away or they just see you as someone who's just having a hard time trusting your intuition. I think you're suppressing your feelings. That's how they view you. They view you as someone who's repressing their feelings, but they definitely want a new emotional cycle with you. They want a fresh, new, brand new beginning with you, an emotional cycle. But right now, I think with the King of Pentacles here, you're very focused on your stability, your growth, your uh, money, your career, your goals. You're very focused on yourself, not in a bad way, not in a way where you want to distract yourself from this person and just, you know, do something else. It's more like, this is what I want. I know my world. I got the goods. Come get me types. You know what I'm saying? But this person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? I saw the Ace of Wands also. So they want a clean slate with you. Uh, you're probably giving them a real hard time, okay? They're not being able to figure you out because you could be giving them the silent treatment is also what I'm getting, okay? Because you're just not saying anything. You're in a position where you don't want to act right now. You just want to stay there. Good, stay there. But at least, you know, don't get into that anxiety mode. Okay, what do you believe? How do you view this person that you're dealing with cancer? How does cancer view this person that they're dealing with? How does cancer view this person that they're dealing with? Yep, you've released this person. You have a lot of 
love for them. Okay, I feel you still have a lot of love for them because you're showing up as the queen of cups in reverse. You have a lot of love for them, but the problem here is that that unconditional love you gave and gave and gave and gave and gave, and they didn't value your love. Okay, they probably thought that you would stick around all this while. Okay, so there was this emotional fulfill connection between you guys. Okay. Something did work out between you guys, but on an emotional level. You know what I'm saying? Like on that fantasy world and that dreamy world. But you guys were like this, in this happy relationship, okay? But I think you put up with this. Because you can come up as someone who will overlook every red flag coming from your partner in the name of love. I'm going to put it, I'm going to be very honest there. You view this person as who was becoming more of a burden here. You had to do everything on your own, Okay. You had to take the entire burden of this relationship. You were the one who was trying to, you know, figure things out, etc. And this person had no say and more than no say, this person had no contribution in this, okay? And you see yourself as releasing this person, okay? Because it was too much of a burden for you, okay? It was a situation that was very difficult to deal with and you've ended the cycle with them. We have the two tens and they're both in the reverse, okay? So yes, a situation that almost reached to an outcome but the thing is that by the time it reached an outcome, right, it was becoming too much because only one person was doing all the work here, okay? And that was you. So let's see, why is all this happening? What led up to this? What led up to all this? Why is all this happening? Hmm. Someone here put you at kept you as an option doesn't have to be i mean i'm just gonna put out a few stories out there because a lot of people are watching this reading someone out here needs to make a decision okay but they're not they're using all their strength to hold back from you from holding from not making a decision this person knows that they can either make or break a situation okay they, this person is at a crossroads out here you know B whatever it is it's a very difficult decision for this person i feel you're dealing with someone who's non-committed could be What's the two of swords? First of all, this person lacks the entire strong will, okay? They feel they can't make something happen. They're lacking the confidence. They're lacking the strength of the will to make things happen with you, okay? So that's why what happens, this person uses a lot of manipulation. They use a lot of deception, you know, a lot of manipulation techniques, you know, to get you back or whatever it is. They're always manipulative, always have a trick up their sleeve here. A mother figure could be between you guys. A mother could be stopping or could be coming between you guys, which is stopping this person from making a decision about you. Okay. Yes, there could be another person involved here. Could be this, could be this person's baby's mama or could be the wife. Anything. Or a motherly figure. Someone out here is stopping this person from making a choice. And because of that, that this person could be someone very, very... Um, evident in this person's life okay because of which this person is uh not sure or it's, this person is just someone very controlling in their life okay someone who's in the driver's seat someone who's overly dominating out here is also what i'm getting this person knows that they have a lot of love for you for sure okay they have that clarity they are addressing their feelings but when it comes to making that decision they're not because with the strength here right something's going to need a lot of strength for this person something's going to need a lot of willingness you know that inner strength to make a decision but they're holding back because they don't know who to choose probably they either choose you and hurt the other person or they or they choose that person and hurt you now this could be family this could be a mother this could be a um whatever you know what i mean um let me, um, what action, what action will this person take towards you in the near future? What action will this person take towards you in the near future? What action will this person take in the near future towards you? Hmm. Someone could be married here. Okay, could be. I don't know why. Just for some someone could be married here or someone could be in a committed relationship, you know, where they're not happy in. This person will take action towards you. Okay. They will. They're gonna come towards you because they choose you. They're zoned in on you. They want you. Um 
this person could be involved in some drama or chaos like i'm seeing the empress is coming up again here in the reverse here if you don't put in the work they'll come in towards you if you're not going to invest into them because they they see something's not growing something's not expanding in the near future or in their actions okay so i feel here what's the empress in reverse Keep showing me the magician in reverse. Getting two things here. This person, as soon as they let go of the other third person or the third situation of the third party here, that's when they'll come back to you. Okay, because the other person out here, they're not getting along with them. There's too much drama, conflict, tension, chaos between this person and the other person out here. Okay, they will release that person, but this person seems to be someone very difficult to deal with. Okay, then that's a very clingy, very codependent person that they're dealing with right now. Again, could be a mother again, so don't freak out. Could be a motherly energy, usually it's a mother. Could be this person's mother, could be this person's baby's mama, whatever. But uh, this person has a very positive attitude that they will work things out, okay? And they will release that person, but it's just going to be the moment they have that faith and hope and that willingness that they will make things happen with you but they are coming towards you okay it will it's gonna take some time probably but what action will cancer take towards this person <laughs> then you're just gonna wait for this person to come towards you okay until the time they come towards you i think you're just backing off Well, I have three people out here, but I don't keep this as three different people here. Okay, let's see. Um, one story I'm getting is that, A, you're taking no action towards this person. You're completely withdrawn. You're not moving towards this person. You've completely, you've lost the motivation and the passion towards this person, okay? You're not going to want to make any move towards them. You're just laid back, very passive, okay? Because this time you're not losing your emotions, you're using your logic. And you're being very straightforward and honest with your approach towards this person, even if this person comes in towards you, okay? You're going to be in that masculine energy. You're just completely transforming yourself from the Queen of Cups to the King of Swords here. You don't want to, but you just have to, okay? I mean, you're a water element here. And for you to come into that King of Swords energy here, that element is, it's just like, you know what? You don't want to do it. You've been forced to become that logical. You've been forced to suppress your emotions, okay? Not show emotions at all okay that's what you're gonna do i just think with the nine of pentacles here you're just gonna be very focused on your career work goals and uh, you're gonna wait for them to come in the other thing i see is that whilst you're waiting for this person to come in or even if you're not waiting for this person to come in right there could be another person coming towards you okay this could be someone who's younger to you okay but someone who's slow moving towards you looks like it is this person here I don't think this is a new person. I think this is this person here who's going to come towards you. But there are chances that you will not uh, talk to them or approach them in a way that you used to all this while. No emotions, no passion, nothing. It's just logic, okay? It's just like a very straightforward, cold, detached approach here. Being very icy towards them. Yeah, but they're coming towards you, okay? It's going to take some time, for God's sake. It's the Knight of Pentacles here. Too slow, okay? So wait. Uh, what's the immediate future for this connection or where is this connection heading in the near future? Where is this connection heading in the near future, guys? Wow, too many cards. It looks like it looks like you there is an ending out here there's an ending out here but don't worry endings have new beginnings so that's not the problem out here i just feel that there's an ending out here because you are putting an end to someone who's been a control freak all this while with you okay someone who's very stubborn who's hard to budge okay 
you're definitely ending things with this person. You know, this person could be someone, like, like I said, right? Uh, could be a boss figure, could be a fatherly figure, whoever this is, right? But you're choosing to end things with this person out here because you waited and waited and waited. And what's what's happening here is that, see, from the 8, you're coming to the 10 here, which means you were almost at the end of the cycle here. Too much anxiety, too much of exhaustion, too much of overthinking, analyzing, overanalyzing. You're going to feel like a victim out here and you're going to put an end to a connection with this emperor here, okay? You're going to just boss up, put restraints, you're going to straighten this person up and it's going to be like, you know what, no. Okay, and I'm getting a lot of logic and being practical from your side. Emotions are like, you've locked your emotions up, okay? And I feel you're just going to leave. You're just going to leave. You have a lot of emotions for them, but see that? I hope you guys can see. So, yeah, you have a lot of emotions for them, but you're going to walk away. It's like something you don't want to do, but you just got to do it because this person took forever to come towards you. Yeah. You are putting in boundaries. Very, very strong, healthy boundaries is what I'm getting here. You're just going to do the right thing because you want structure, you want stability. And if this person's going to be so slow moving towards you, you probably don't even uh, feel that this person's ever going to, give, going to give you that structure and stability that you require or that you desire here because of which you're walking away. You don't want to, but you got to do it. You're just sneaking away. More like sneaking away. It's like, you know what? You're just being very deceptive. You're lying to your own self that you don't love them and you need to walk away. But the truth is that you know that you have a lot of love for them, but you just got to do what you got to do. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this video resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.